Welcome, honor guests, the land of TMS. I am the Busybody Baroness, and we are live. Okay, let me get back, get to the comment section, and we are going to get going. If you're a Patreon member, then you got the message. Um, so if you want to join, then come on in and join if you have the link. If for some reason you didn't get the link, let me know, and then I'll just throw it over in chat real quick, because I already know how many of y'all is going to come in, so it's not going to matter. Okay, let me get to my place and we will get started. All right, so before we get started, because I did watch the episode, I did manage to get through today's episode with the memorial service and poor Gregory. I felt so bad for Gregory. It was a lot. And because I didn't do a recap yesterday or the day before because I was at the funeral home for most of those days, um, we'll talk about it. So... Where do I want to start? So the first thing, let's start with this lady here. This is Emma Phillips. Emma Phillips is the queen of the soaps. Um, we would not be here today talking, chit-chatting. It would be no busybody bareness in Gian Hen Nation if it was not for this lady. Um, she started in 1949, January 31st. And the name of the soap opera was called These Are My Children. It premiered on NBC in Chicago and it only aired for 24 days for 15 minutes. The reason why we call them soap operas today is because the sponsor of soaps was Procter & Gamble. And it was really just designed to sell household products, mainly soap, to women. Um, but, of course, the popularity grew and we are here today because of her. And I just think it's great. And we're so grateful for that. Um. I want to touch on a few things that we missed because, again, we didn't talk about it. Jordan. The Jordan and Anna thing, I'm sure we're going to have to keep on going on with these two and what they're about. But my mama was upset because I don't know why she thought that man was Enrico Iglesias in the first place. But the man that played Jack Walker, um, because he saved him from them. The FBI bust in. We all know that and saved him. This man here. When he first showed up to Bobby's, I was like, is he supposed to be the new Jax? I was very confused at who he was supposed to be until they introduced him. Until, until Anna was like, oh, Jack And I'm like, what? And then Mama called me immediately. Sure, fine. Why not? But this is the original one. So this man, and it's like, why couldn't they find someone? And then I read an article him i want to say his last name is sabato jr i can't find the article but this is the original jaguar right so he said that he would be more than willing to take his role back he said he doesn't know why general hospital didn't contact him to take up um because mama was mad child so i put that up in her because it took me about two hours but i wonder and put that in the comments and let me know what you guys think of that uh, Sandy Moon is in the house. She says, hi, Bearness. And Sabrina's here. Hey, girls. Hello, everybody. Um, I just really wanted to know. So what did you guys think? Were you surprised that that was, you know, the new Jaguar, as surprised as my mother was? Okay, let's see what else, because we got a lot to get into. So these are just more pictures of, you know, the original Jaguar. Here we go. Joshua Bernard, real quick. So as you can see, it says he... Um, wraps February 2nd, his general hospital stint. So he will not be, so our theory was wrong, me and Linda White, he will not be taken over. I mean, it's no telling he can come back at any time, his, you know, his character. But for right now, we're not going to see him anymore as well. So he made his exit. Lucky is supposed to be coming back. Um, I'm not I'm a little bit confused because we thought we were going to, the spoilers, you know, but the email I got, said that he was supposed to come back for Spencer's funeral. Now, will he come back later? I don't know. But the question was, in the article that I read, which will we get this lucky? Who are we going to get? Which one? Steve Burton also announced that he filmed his second um, episode, I think, to yesterday. Yeah, yesterday was his second filming of the episode he went on daily motion with you know the spinelli character because that's his show on youtube and he was just talking about how great it was to be back and all of that also um he also what he said not only that he also mentioned 
that his character is going to be different. I did put a, an article about that, but I think I can remember it good enough to paraphrase. So basically what he said was, it's going to be very interesting, his return. He says that it's exciting and he was excited to read the script. So again, I think you guys were right about how he's going to return. He may be the one. And plus all the stuff with um, Sonny confronting Brick and, you know, just trying to figure out who knows all his security and all the secrets and all of that. So it does look like it's going to be Jason that's going to be the one um, that's targeting him, probably programmed, I suppose, and doesn't know what he is doing. And I really was hoping that they wouldn't just le let Drew be the one programmed. I feel like that is so many other things that Jason could be doing other than this, but I guess they want to make his return exciting and okay. Is it going to be more exciting than when he returned and he crashed down through the skylight of the Metro Court? That was exciting. Cameron. Cameron came back today. We saw that for the memorial service. Um, I'm going to do a quick recap too, so don't worry. But the reason why he's up, because I'm wondering, we know he's not going to be there long. Because he's not going to be on the show long. I know he went back to his mom's house because she mentioned that he was, um, Aiden was cooking or something. So I wonder, is he going to be back long enough for us to see his girlfriend? Is his girlfriend back at the house waiting on him? What's up with this girlfriend? Or did she just not come? Because they did mention that he had a girlfriend. Um... Alexis, we'll get into that. The whole thing was just really sad. It was just a really, it was just a really ridiculously sad day. Um, so this was the memorial service and everybody did a 10, Cameron, just poor Trina. I felt really bad for her. Um, am I in the review? So let's do the recap. Let's go ahead and do it. Let me get in my place and pull my notes up and see what y'all talking about in comments. Everybody's saying hi. Frankie says hi, y'all. Sandy says today was Jason's second day. Oh, today was the day. Yeah, so I must have watched it today when I was in the waiting room. Um, Sandy again says Cyrus won't stop popping up where he's not wanted. I feel kind of bad for Cyrus Um, today. It was like, no matter what we think of Cyrus, we do know that he did care for Spencer, especially when Spencer was in Pentonville with him. And people you don't know have to be mean like at this moment could everybody just chill out if cyrus just looks so sad and so somber it was just a look on his face i think that really got to me um and laura always looks at him like are you crazy like the look that laura gives him is always like are you kidding me are you? like she just it's like she thinks he's unbelievable some of the things that he does um hey sir charles is in the house frankie says oh i lost it here you go frankie says i can't feel bad knowing he's coming back um that's i'm glad you brought that up frankie because we know we're getting the spencer a character of spencer but i have a feeling that we're not going to get the one we're used to nicholas chavez i really think that he may not be returning i'm getting a lot of mixed information so um tabiana I think she put out a statement and was like, she's going to miss him. And it was really sad and blah, blah, blah. Right. And then General Hospital put out a statement and says, well, we can't wait for when he's done taping for him to come back. So I'm just trying to figure it out. Like, are they playing? Like, is the character coming back and we're just going to get a new version of Spencer? But at the end of the day, we know around spring, summer, Spencer and Trina will be back together. So I guess we don't have to worry about that. Um, uh oh, Daisy Flower 40. Hey, Daisy. Daisy says, I can't rock with Trina. Why, Daisy? What's wrong while I'm trying to find my get in my place? Why don't you like Trina? Was it just today's episode, or do you mean just her character in general at this point? Frankie says, If he doesn't come back, I'm okay with it. He gave us awesome scenes, so you wouldn't mind if we just got a new Spencer because the show must go on, you know. So It'll be hard for me. To, I mean, like I said, I think I said this in comments. They would have to find a damn good replacement for this Spencer. They really would. For me to just accept this a new Spencer with open arms, ugh, that would be difficult. I don't know. Uh, Daisy says, girl needs to wake up and realize she's black and middle class. She needs to get back to school, take a semester off, and get back to school. Yeah, what well, we're going to talk about her scene 
today as well. Um, I agree. I do. I agree a hundred percent. Okay, let me make sure I'm in the right place. Okay, so everybody was gathering at the memorial. Um, I found it really touching. Everything Alexis said, oh, it was really nice. It was really nice. So we see them at the, you know, they're just greeting each other. And Sprina, Sprina, Lord, Trina said to Joss and Cam, like, I loved him with all my heart, but you guys grew up together. And I know this has to be, you know, just as hard for you. And I'm glad that she realized and recognized that. Ava comforted her. Um, you know, and asked her, was she going to Windermere? Uh, Ava opened up Windermere to have the, you know, the after thing. I can't think right now, you guys. Uh, the repass thing after. So I thought that was nice. I thought something was going to happen. Like somebody was going to show up other than Cyrus to shake it up. But I guess not. Laura, she said she was so grateful um, to see Cameron, I bet. Any little bit of family Laura can get right now, honey. I know she is grateful to see them and hold on to them. Three Apples and Kevin were the only two that went to pay their respects to Esme. Now, this made me cry, I think, even just as hard as the Spencer Memorial, you guys. Poor Esme. Because we know we're not going to see her again anytime soon. And it was just really sad. I cried with Heather. Put it in the comments if you cried with Heather. Okay, so right here is when the Ashfords get back home and they're talking to Trina, you know, and trying to comfort her. And she lets them know. And then she got a letter from the, the school, the Savon, I don't, Savon, Savon, however you pronounce it, that school. They said she can return next semester. She says, I'm not going to, never going back there. And I'm not going to P C U P C U P S C U. I'm thinking of the bank. I'm not going there. And she says she's done with school pretty much. And this is where we're at right now saying we think she's making a big mistake. Take off a semester and regroup because you don't have to go to the Paris thing, but I'm sure it's somewhere maybe in the country that's just as great. Like, I don't know, Smithsonian. I don't know. She's in the art. So that's, I don't know. But I think right now she's just grieving and I'm sure she'll come around. And plus we know Spencer will be back in spring. So she'll be back in school before winter semester um this is ava opening the door when she saw cyrus um standing there he came to you know continue to pay his respects and she said you know you're not wanted here but laura said it's okay i'll talk to him and he said he just this is the part where she just always this is the look that she gives him like are you serious are you just you know the look you give somebody like are you insane but he was just trying to pay his respects pretty much without drawing this out. Um, I don't know. I just felt bad for him today. Maybe it's just uh, projecting, but I just felt sorry for him. Cam and Joss, they embraced and told each other that, I really am not even looking at my notes, you guys. Um, they embraced and comforted each other and they were remembering Spencer. And it was just nice to see them back together. Cameron, they just still look cute. You know, I still miss them together. I don't mind her and Dex together, but, you know. Dante was keeping an eye on Sonny across the room because, you know, he's worried about Sonny because someone did try to, you know, take an attempt on his life. And so he was just worried about him, and he knows the threat is still out here. And that's what he was telling Sam. Um, It's just Sonny at the memorial. I forgot what he was hollering about, child. But so right here is Heather. This right here, you guys, was really it was really sad. Was it Ava when Kiki died sad? No. But this was still I cried. I did. She got now she got down there and told that the grave up, didn't she? Why she she really she did pull a weeping wanda, but I understood and I it got to me. And I felt really bad for her. Only three people visited this child's, you know, said goodbye to her. And I thought that was, I understand she was supposed to be like the pariah town. And she was really bad. And it was her fault that Spencer was gone. But I think Laura maybe should have accompanied um, Kevin. But I guess she had to go to Windermere to greet the guests. I don't know. But she's still the mother of your grandchild. So come on. So this is the part where Heather was just very upset. She, you know, Elizabeth was trying to comfort her and she told Elizabeth, I can see why Franco loved you and I understand. And, you know, 
you gave my daughter longer because Nicholas would have did God knows what with her. At this part, though, she's fussing at Kevin because she feels like that Kevin is Kevin's fault. Ryan got out. Just everything is Kevin's fault. At this point, she just needs someone to blame. Listening to her rant right now, I don't think she's thinking about escaping and try to get revenge. I don't think that part is going to come until she finds out this spent when Spencer comes back because she's going to say, okay, why are you back? How did you survive? And my daughter didn't, you know what I mean? So I think that's, what's going to break Heather out. And then we'll probably get some action from her then over on the other side um, of the cemetery, because they were Gregory, you know, everybody was there. Gregory was there as well for Alexis and them. He had, you know, wasn't feeling well and it was really bad. I cried again. Um, him and Finn were talking. He was like, why don't you let me call an ambulance? Why don't you let me get you some help? And he was like, no, just tell me something. Just talk to me and it'll, you know, take my mind off of it. I'll relax and it'll go away. Of course it works, but he was still obviously in some discomfort and that was hard to watch. Finn told him, you know, why don't you let me help you? And Gregory says, because you can't help me. You you want to, you don't want to help me. You want to save me and you can't save me. Um, I hate when the writers do that. It took a lot of us a long time to like warm up not because it was anything wrong with the Gregory character it was just they were writing him boring things and we found him boring but now not because of this storyline because of him getting in the mix with Tracy and I don't know it's just different now because he's a possible love interest for Tracy and I hate that the writers didn't go that way and it seems like we're not going to have him long I said we were going to have to see what his contract is looking like. Oh, the weeping willows. Of course. So Michael was at um at home in the gay house getting the kids ready. And Wiley forgot his workbook. And the, the baby Amelia threw up on his shirt. And he was wondering, oh, how does Willow do it? She's so amazing. So Willow, of course, enters the room on cue. And he says, blah, blah, I miss you. No, he didn't say that. It was just they were talking pretty much with these two right now, we knew that they were going to reconcile. He did mention to her that Drew asked him to help get back, you know, get revenge on Nina. He told her that he declined. She says, why? He says, because I'm, you know, I don't want to do that anymore. I just want to focus on being great. So they're going to get back together. And that's where we're at with a born asses for sure. Okay. We have to do studio comments. Go to Twitter, let me go to y'all comments and see what I'm missing. Okay. Um, oh, I missed a lot. Sir Charles says she liked the original Trina. So you like the original Trina better, Daisy. That's what it is. Um, a lot of people, you know, when I brought that up before, it was trouble, but I know a lot of this Trina is fine. Everybody has their opinion. <laughs> Frankie says if he doesn't come oh yeah you're fine with it he gave us an awesome seat yeah and hopefully if we do have to replace Spencer they can find somebody that's um you know just as good just as tall just as handsome and that can pull off the billionaire boy look you know act and still be nice to Trina I just hope they just find the right person y'all Frankie says she's too mousy and has to be a good Spencer. Yeah, it's got to be a damn good Spencer, I'm telling you right now. Sir Charles says they want Frankie to come back. Do you? To do what? Because um, Elizabeth is happy with Finn. So what would that look like, a Franco back in town right now? That means that him and Elizabeth would still be married because that means he didn't pass on. So she would have to deal with that. I mean, I guess if they brought him back after they brought Hayden back, that would be something. I guess. Frankie says would have been a great triangle. Yeah, Alexis. Yeah, Gregory and Tracy. I really don't know why. Or maybe he's going on to do something else. I'm not sure why they didn't pursue this. Oh, Daisy cleared it up. She says I like she likes both trainers. Yeah, me too. They both brought something to it. But now that the kids are getting older, um, I don't know. I'm wondering if this training, like you guys say, could pull off these particular scenes, um, you know, the love scenes and stuff. Uh, Sabrina says, where was Nicholas? They let Heather come. Yeah. Also, where was Taggart? No mention. I, you know what? I didn't even think about where Nicholas was. 
I guess it was best for him not to be there. We know he is locked up in the PCPD and not sure. And also, where was Taggart? I, again, I thought that Taggart would have been the man behind the door to FBI, but we found out that that wasn't him. That was the Jaguar man. So. Um, again, I think you guys told me that the new writers uh, don't really take over until, what, next month? I think somebody told me. So we're still watching the old writers mess, I think. Daisy says, I also knew this spring of magic for me, though they were mad. And Sir Charles says, they're a boring couple. Who's a boring couple, Charles? Sprina or Gregory? No, who's a mom? Because we used to think Gregory, before Gregory got sick, we used to think him and Alexis were a boring couple. Sandy Moose says, I think we'll find out that Gregory has been misdiagnosed. We thought about that. Do you remember when Elizabeth um, mentioned that his doctor wasn't quite right and then they kind of switched doctors or something? Oh, Liz, Sir Charles says Liz is boring. Um, is it a chance, you guys, you think that it's, is it still a chance that Gregory has been misdiagnosed? So what is wrong with him? They would really have to do some good cleanup because a lot of people don't like that. You know, because this is a real disease and um, you can't just, oops, you know, especially for people that watch the show and are really dealing with it. Frankie says, Nick's yep, in jail and Tagger is missing. Somebody saying, Abolo, I'm telling you, I don't know why he says he's open to come back. I, maybe the new writers will write him in. We got a chance because Sandy says the new writers start March 1st. So maybe we'll get, some, especially now, right, with Trina feeling hopeless and not wanting to go back to school maybe this is an intro for taggart so sir charles says liz is, is mousy and boring sometimes she has her moments okay what do we want to let's go over to twitter real quick because that can be one thing i can go ahead and get rid of okay let me share this this is pretty much everything we're supposed to see this week. Let me start it from the beginning. How are we expected to say goodbye to Spencer? And this is how everything began today. Somebody almost took me out. We question everyone. Everyone is guilty until proven otherwise. General Hospital on ABC. Okay, how do I feel about this? No kind of way. Because what they're doing is they're building up suspense for... The obvious that you guys already told me that Jason is the one. So everybody's a suspect. It's got to be somebody that's close to him and all of that. So, okay, sure. But, again, you can tell this is the old writer's writing. Because we already know what's going to happen. We already know Steve Burton is back. If it's not Drew, then who? Um, let's see. Poor Trina. She did a really good job. I thought, you know, I, it was emotional. She, it was a really good scene. What is this? I wasn't expecting. Oh, yeah. This is a clip. Let's watch this. This Nurse is a clip Carlos. from today. I wasn't expecting. On the next General Hospital. You're not welcome here. I'm not going to PCU or anywhere else. What is your secret, Nurse Carrethos? I wasn't expecting quite that level of hostility. What do you not tell him? You like it or not, we're going to the hospital. On the next General Hospital. I was really, here. I was really worried about Gregory in that scene. I didn't know how far they were going to take that scene with him, um, not being able to breathe. I mean, that was really for me. I found it really suspenseful. Suspenseful. This is Brick. Uh, you know, saying, "Do you suspect me?" And I think these are all oh, we went through all of this. Oh, we didn't talk about. Come, can we talk about this real quick? I'm not going to dwell on it. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. But come on, Lucy. Like uh, Martin said, it's only been 15 minutes. It hadn't even, like you literally rolled around in the hay with Scott not even an hour after this man broke up with you. And it wasn't even like that for him. Like it was a mistake for real. So these two are, um, Martin and Lucy, they're done. It's over. So I wouldn't mind him, like I said, and Diane, because I find Diane and Robert to be boring. Um, yeah, so this is when Tracy is telling Martin, you know, I was just trying to get back at her because she was doing something. So, yeah, this is the one where, um, all of this roll around in the hay, all of this. 
Nicholas coming back. So I guess Nicholas couldn't make the funeral, like you guys said, because, you know, asked because he was locked up and they probably wasn't going to take the chance on him, you know. Let's see what GH News. Did we just come off of GH News? Or was on the General Hospital page? Ugh, I forgot already. Hold on. Give me a second, you guys. Okay. News. Yeah. Yeah, because they yeah, because I previewed their page before um I went live and they really didn't have anything new. They probably won't post anything recent until um like from this episode until later. Because we're kind of early. Like I can't even pull up Hulu for you guys because they don't air until like for another 30 minutes. But I thought today's episode was really, really emotional. Um <laughs> I know Sabrina said what was up with the graves I thought they were doing a memorial I thought it was going to be a memorial too I have no idea no idea okay we're going to go to studio comments right now let me see who is first I have no idea like y'all seeing this real time with me let's like it Earl Cockett says today, February 7th. Oh, yeah, I'm on time. Says, I watched Spencer and Esme's memorial service. They brought Heather and she threw herself on Esme's makeshift grave. Somebody tell her that Esme is not in there. She is really going off the deep end. Like I said, she went and tore up the grave. She really did. Linda White says, Ace's father is Adam. I just read at the beginning that Adam is not coming back on for a while. Monica comes back to see her son, Dex and Esme are twins. The plan is to free their father, Ryan. Y'all know Linda White played too much. And he, she says, who tried to kill Sonny? This is Linda White says. Um, Jason, Morgan, Sean, Rick, Lorenzo Alcazar, Cyrus, Miss Wu, Olivia Jerome. Pick one. Um, okay, so this is Linda White suspect list on who tried to shoot Sonny. Um, she didn't put Drew. I'm still gonna go with Drew in hopes that it's not Jason, y'all. And then she says, Esme will come back the same time. Spencer comes back on General Hospital. Look in comments. 48 the two women. Linda White, I still don't know what that means. I don't. She's um Q Quebec says, hey, Baroness, I think Linda White is talking about, oh, your intro with the hands at the table talking. Oh, she wants a rooster in there, too. Oh, my God, Linda White. I went in there. Oh, thank you so much. You know, Linda White. I'll figure it out. I promise. But I did like a separate child. I, re I don't even really show that that much. So, But I will go in there and put a man in between them two broads just for you girl um uh, diane van zandt says sorry i'm sorry sunny said it was an inside job maybe morgan is behind the shooting i believe esme saved spencer because he was out of it you know she survived all the water events she's gonna nurse him back to health on the island he will kill her and later escape okay do you got this is what i thought too is it possible that Esme is gone just for now? That she'll come back when Spencer comes back? Is that possible? And then Earl Coggins says, my hat is off to Eaton McCoy. It has to be difficult to go through the death of her mother. Yeah, and then come back and have to play death scenes on GH. My condolences to her. Yes, it had to be very, very hard for her to do that. I'm sure it was. Okay, it was something else. Was it? Hmm. Yes, it was. Hold on, you guys. Hold on, hold on. Oh, we need to watch scenes from the 16-second preview. Give me a second. I got to pull up that. And then I'm going to see what y'all are talking about in comments. I usually have all this stuff ready, but I, like, literally just ran in the house and jumped on. Okay. In the right place. Let me share it with y'all. Let's do this. In fact, it's 
never gonna happen again. What information did you go to jail to hide from me? It's time for Dad to stop living on his own. How exactly do you propose to do that? I hope that you can forgive me. Get the hell out of my way. Oh, one more time, please. Next general hospital. Let's do this. That is never. Let's do what? Brooklyn. With the deception, I guess deception and crimson. Let's do what? Is she talking to her about Maxi? Push them out. That is never gonna happen again. What information did you go to jail to hide from? Me? It's time for dad to stop living on his own. How exactly do you propose to do that? I hope that you can forgive me. Get the hell out of my way. Okay, well. Um if I had to guess, Anna is probably yelling at that Jaguar man. I'm sure. That's probably who she's yelling at. And I think maybe I'm still trying to figure out, I guess the deception and crimson deal. Maybe that's what Brooklyn and Carly is talking about. Hopefully they're including Maxie into some certain deal. Cause this she needs all the help she can get. And let's see who's saying something. Omar says, what about Dex? We haven't seen Dex in a minute. I mean, he's been in and out really quickly, but I assume that we'll see him soon, I'm sure. Kathy Wilson says, I want Trina when ready to go back to Paris and find Spencer. Do you think, Kathy, because we know he is coming back. Do you think that's what's going to happen? That she's going to go and find him? Or do you think he's just going to show back up to Port Charles like they always do? Because that would be an interesting twist. She goes and brings him back. And Sabrina says, me too, Kathy. Frankie says, Kathy, we wanted her to kick Esme's butt too, but I don't think the writers are hearing us. Somebody mentioned that because I was complaining about how meh the scenes were. And... They said, well, they are young and they couldn't go too far. It is daytime TV. So it couldn't be a dynasty, Alexis Carrington and Crystal Carrington scene. So. Sandy Moon says, I can see them putting Jagger at, you know, that's what they're going to do. And it's going to be freaking boring. What do you think? I know they're going to put Jaguar and Anna together for a minute. Sherry Robinson says, Jason's mind control is lazy. So you think for him, I think it's lazy too. Thank you. I mean, is it any lazier for Drew? No, but at least it's more of a twist, right? Because we've been there with both of them as it is. But it's more unexpected for Drew. Frankie says he's too young for Anna. Jaguar? Or John or whatever we supposed to be calling them now. They all ran through the same circles and stuff back in the day. They, they the same age, I think. Kathy says, I hope she decides to go back because she's got a letter, for, yeah, from the school to come back. That would be the one thing. Maybe she'll change her mind and say, okay, I'm going to go back and get set up. And then she can find Spencer that way. That's a possibility. Like I said, for her, to, that's a good twist. It's better than the usual way. Q says, why wasn't Martin at the funeral? Probably too upset. Breaking up with Lucy. Sabrina says, I think it's Jasper Jackson's brother behind all of it. I can't think of his name right now. Um, Jasper. Jerry? Jerry Jacks. I think so. Frankie says he's robbing Fran Stone's brother. Oh. Yeah. Is he? Yeah, 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 because of those pictures. Are, okay. Well, I mean, he doesn't look <laughs> that. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's still possible, Frankie, no matter what we may think of the age difference. It's still quite possible that they'll put them together. It's the stories. Let's see. I mean... Would anybody care if Jaguar and Anna got together? Because they're going to put him with somebody. Jordan? Will he be in a love triangle with Jordan? Because Brick is in town and you see, you know. This is interesting. Sabrina says, I don't like the character Lucy. Why did they make that happen? They That was too... I didn't like that. I didn't like how she... Because I felt sorry for her. I felt really bad the way... 
Martin broke up with her and when she got on the elevator and it was like so sad. And then you went and you slept with Scott like immediately. Like that was just too. Yeah. Like dang. <laughs> Sabrina says, thank you, Frankie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. So him and Jordan, Jaguar and Jordan. Kathy says Jaguar was Stone's brother. I think he would be Anna Speed. They're saying he would be too young. 179 says not a Lucy fan either. So I'm not alone. Think now I'm not saying I don't like Lucy, but sometimes she can make me sick. And that was one of those times. Like, was it just too yuck? Or was that just typical Lucy? You know, like when she when Victor showed her those diamonds, it was like, oh, you gotta do is show her some diamonds and you know. Like, why do they make her like that? Because she's, otherwise, they make her a savvy, smart businesswoman. And then in the next scene, she's breaking up with her man that she that was there for her, that crossed the line for her during the Victor times. Remember when she was being held hostage in the cabin? And, you know, it, it just wasn't a good look for them to do that. Yeah, Kathy Wilson says Lucy is very childish for her own good. Who knows people that's, you know, older, your age, our age, and it's not like Lucy, but still haven't got it all. Like, still acts like they're, like, 21 or something. They're in denial of their age. <laughs> yeah, I didn't appreciate that scene. And then, Scott, you got over Lisa that quick. So, a reconciliation between Lisa and Scott, I guess that's not, that's just out the window. Poor Lisa. Maybe she was right to not get back with Scott if he can just get back with Lucy so easily because he was just at Bobby's, you know, trying to get back with Lisa, even though she turned him down. But dang, he moved on really quick. That was just a little bit too quick. Um, I was waiting on Patreon members to get in the chat because I did send them a link so they could join and talk and, you know, comment back with y'all and stuff but i don't think they made it yeah when uh lucy was a sexy librarian i had that picture where is lisa the last time we saw lisa is when she was at the diner with scott and he was trying to get back with her and it didn't work out she said she didn't want no more very disappointed, Kathy says. I was rooting for him, at least so me too. Now, maybe, I think the writers are trying to bring, like, nostalgia because Lucy and Scott were a hot item back in the day, and they had a lot of fans. So maybe that's what's going on. Maybe they're trying to just bring back some old love stuff between them two for their fans. Me too, 76 Drum says, love the scenes with Ben and Gregory, very emotional. And this is what is going to be so hard. As he declines and everything, <laughs> it's gonna be so hard. Sean White says, Me too, Kathy. And V Moore says, Yes, Jason is coming back. Yeah, well, he'll be he's on the second taping. It's just, how is he gonna come back? Are we gonna be interested? I'm worried I'm not gonna be entertained. As much as I miss him, I'm worried that whatever this interest is, it's not gonna be entertaining at first. Like, it's gonna take a minute. Because that's why I think it'll be better if Drew is the one to go after Sonny and he's the one that's programmed because Jason can come back and save everybody. And, you know, because Miss Wu is up to something too, you guys. I really do believe that Miss Wu has something to do with a lot. You know what? Lisa should be there to support Nina. And where is Phyllis? Does Phyllis, what's going on with her? Sabrina says, I've been through with her since she escaped through with her since she escaped <laughs> just go yeah, just to go to the nurse's ball and Anna ended up shot oh yeah that was awful and 76 Trump says I like Lucy but wasn't happy with the hayride yeah with Scott I just that turned me off too um okay you guys I still do have a lot of family stuff um to do because uh my brother's funeral is Friday but I did need to jump on here and plus I wanted to connect with my Patreon members, because I'm trying to figure out how to go live on that. If you are a member on Facebook, like a Facebook member, I'm going to do a special video for you guys as well. Um, live. It'll be a live just like this one, just for Facebook members. If you're not a Facebook member, please go ahead and join. It's only 99 cents to do that. 
Um, so let me look at my calendar real quick and I can give you members an exact date. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's do, how about Sunday? I want to do a Sunday brunch live for the members. So it'll be for sure Sunday brunch live, but I'm not sure what time. I will certainly put up the time and give y'all plenty of advance notice. It'll probably be between 12 and what's the brunch time? 11 and 2? I don't know. My time, Eastern. But I'll certainly let you guys know this. Thanks, Velma Moore. Um, I love you too, Frankie. Thank y'all so much. I love y'all so much. Um, I do have a couple of more things to do. I'm so sorry. I don't understand like when somebody passes away in the family why can't everybody just shut up and get along just for a few days until everybody gets back in their spaces and we can all just can stop talking to each other like it was i just need everybody to get it together for a few days and it's never i just i just want to shake them i just want to shake my entire family if i could just get them all in the group <laughs> I, would just shake. I love them but they get on my nerves thanks again guys i love y'all see y'all listen it's gonna be comments in the morning i'm gonna probably not sleep so i'll prop up so look for comments on you know our regular thing and thank you so much everybody that joined me and that support me and all the cash apps and everything and i love y'all so much thanks for listening to me jen hands please hit the like before you leave and i will definitely catch y'all in the comments